players in entire the given time period he plays 15 three customers got it this is how we can measure the customer loyal loyalty so we will see that using LOD how we can implement how we can get this two done first first let us understand this what I did exactly and I will show you how we can get it done so I have a year date here here I have a customer acquisition this is here we have it's a fixed I want to have a minimum order date and every first time the order which placed by the customers so let's see how we can get it done So now I'm taking order date onto the column shelf. So here we got 2010, 2011, 12, 13. And then let's take the sales onto the column shelf again. Change it to the bar chart. We have a different bar chart. So now I just want to understand, for example, we go in detail you will understand better if I take order date here and customer name sorry let's take the minimum See, Davis Bruce, uh, he placed order in 2012, 0 to 0 to, and then next we can see the, the customers who placed orders first time. Got it. So the same logic I'm going to be implementing here, and we will investigate whether the, the view that we are developing here is correct or not by applying all these kind of testing you know scenarios so now we got it let's now write the LOD for finding out 2010 customers 11 customers 12 customers and 13 customers so 2010 we may have a hundred customers this 2010 customers may place the order uh, 60 people may place the order in 2011 and 2010 customers, 30% uh, of customers may place order in 2012. So I just want to have that difference here so that I can see the progress of my existing customers, how they are carried forward and how, how we are going to be, you know, taking them forward to the next year and how we are making them more loyal to our services. So I'm writing here first LOD calculation, LOD. So let's take the curly braces, fix keyword. Now I'm using here customer ID as a dimension expression. Colon. How many customer IDs? I'm fixing it to the only customer ID. Fixing it to customer ID. Got it. So, how many customer IDs? Minimum, the first time orders. Very first time orders. Got it. Just click on OK. Here we got this thing. 
just drag it drop onto the color click here edit color go to here select the blue and here we have 10 11 12 13 10 is should be this 12 13 click on okay so here we have 2013 so it should be reverse So 2010 sales 1.9 millions. Out of 1.9 millions, we are able to acquire 1, 1 million approximately in 2011. And the new business that we did is $924,000. In 2012, we got 1.1 millions from the 2010 business. And this is what, got it. So this help us even to get the investments from the investors. This kind of presentation, how the business we are going ahead and how you know, the retention rate or churn rate. So we will be having six more scenarios only on churn rate that we will discuss in detail later. So this is first scenario using fix. Now, how can we make it percentage? Click here, duplicate sheet. The same sheet I just duplicated it. Click here. Go to kick table calculation. Get the percent of total. Here we got percentage comparing with overall overall revenue. The 8.9 millions 2010. The overall 8.9 millions 2010. We got something, and here we got something, some value here. Enter if you add, you will. It is going to be. 100 percent but this is not what exactly i'm looking at see here in my story i can see here first first year business should be 100 whatever the customers i have those are 100 percent the second year business should be from this 100 percent to here it should be 39.52 percent so i want this kind of scenario not the percent of total so simple let's go to here Compute using order date. Sorry, there must be this is this is customer acquisition. The name is so now I can see hundred percent. 2010 so I'm just calculating the, this total percent by customer acquired date by customer acquired date so here I can see 100% customers, then out of these 100% customers, we can successfully, you know, acquired 52%. Here we successfully acquired new customers are 47, comparing overall 2011 customers acquisition. And here we got 51 out of this 2010. So maybe we got some uh, comparing with, we got 1% down here, comparing with 2010 customers and 11 and 12. So this is how we can get it done. And we can apply the so for example, I can take the regions here. I can take region onto the filter. And I can check it region wise. So central. So central how many customers and what is the 